So today we're going to talk about um, not all lists are created equal. And that's kind of an open-ended uh, statement term. But, you know, when we're dealing with uh, data, uh, specifically data in the real estate space, we just need to talk through a little bit and help you guys, you know, understand that all the data is not created equal. And so like, you know, when you, when you have your own database and you, you get a database from uh, the share group, you open them up and they, they look the same, you know, they, they, you know, they both have addresses and they both have names, uh, you know, and phone numbers, but uh, you know, you, you just need to maybe go through a couple of uh, keys to make sure that all uh, lists are created equal. Some ideas and recommendations, what to, to look for, you know, if you're out there buying a list, you know, and then we can maybe touch further into some some comparisons, uh, you know. All right, but, so let's uh, let's walk that through. Like, what what are people looking through when when they're doing when they're ordering yeah. lists or, or or I should say ordering data in general? Right. So like what, what are those mean? top three yeah. things or top five things that you would see come through? I, I have four, so we're in the middle Wait. there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what does it mean when I when I say you know not all lists are created equal? Um, and so it's there's a couple of things that they go in there. So like number one for me is one thing I would identify if I'm buying a list is, you know, how often is this database updated? So frequency of update is, is so important because uh, over time data becomes stagnant. It becomes uh, very not usable. When you uh, say over time, what's the, is there like a, a set time frame where you would say it gets, starts to get stale? Yeah, uh, after about 90 to 120 days. Yeah, I think so too. You know, we, we've run some comparisons. So let's say we have a client that buys 3,500 names from us. Five months later, we'll run it through like some re-phone hygiene. Like, so adding a new phone number if we have it. And we were able to identify like 800 new phone numbers, like in wow. five months out of the three, you know, 3,500. So there's real life scenarios that, you know, especially these, you know, non-owner occupied owners or some distressed households that, um, you know, might not be consistent with uh, the same phone number. And so it's important to, to track that. And so that talks about updates, but then the sourcing is what is also another key point. So like point number two for me is I would ask, you know, what kind of sources are they using to, to build their database? And a lot of times you'll get back like, hey, I use my title company. Uh, my title company can pull the MLS, you know, and so it's all cool when you can pull the, the address information, but that contact information, that phone number, that email address uh, is relevant when you ask, you know, what sources are you using to update the data? Um, and so, you know, like, for example, like the share group that's been doing this a long time, and that's a hint of uh, step number three, but our, uh, you know, topic number three three um is uh, but but sources to understand like how you build the data so yeah at the at the core level we'll get the data at the transactional so at the county level where someone buys a house someone refinance someone uh exchanges ownership that is public record right so that's what uh one primary source a lot of companies just stop there and utilize that as a database but what we do is utilize uh several uh 12 to be exact multiple sources that enhance the data that add demographic information like age and income and presence of children and number of children. Uh, and then we'll go through this thing called the World Wide Web <laughs> that uh, is, is allows that us. New? It's something, it's fairly new, but you know, you and I are old enough to not know what it was when we were kids. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, we utilize like incentive based and non incentive based websites to capture a cell phone to get that number opted in to receive third party information to verify that phone number matches that address in a timely manner. And that's something that's really important to us as far as, uh, you know, really understanding what sources are used to build the database. Which also um, goes, I mean, not to circle back to your point one, but if you're updating it every 90 days, just because the, the uh, website updates themselves, right. you might see those additional numbers that you're talking about. And, and that's, I mean, that's freaking huge. 
And the reason why we use multiple sources is because we're not just going to rely on a single source phone number. We're going to rely on multiple sources telling us that that's that number at that residence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's kind of like a double verify. So, so yeah, tip number one, you know, the four tips and to, to making sure that, you know, that, you know, all lists are not created equal was updating. So find out how often the database is updated. Uh, we update our database four times a year, like a complete overhaul every 90 days. And it's because, um, you know, we have seen, um, uh, results, you know, teeter a little bit towards the end of an update uh, once we get a new fresh update in. And we're starting our update as immediately as we release a new update. We're behind the scenes building. Yeah. I will tell you, man, that that right there, between the updates and the sources, those two things alone, and again, as a coach with, with real estate agents, what I see is that people will purchase the list and then not take any action on it for four, five, six months because they're preparing to prepare to prepare yeah. to get ready to go. <laughs> And right, it's like just, right. just pull the damn trigger and go. And you're going to see significantly more results simply because okay. of what you're talking about. That's data getting stale. Yeah. And they have to re-update the list at that point. So it's and, and then it's another investment. Right? Exactly. No, totally. And we, you know, we just had a call with a client that, uh, that was like, you know, kicking himself in the bud because he was calling, you know, like a month or two too late. Just the same thing you said, Andy, is trying to get motivation to, to call uh, and then realize that, you know, there's multiple opportunities he missed on just, you know, recently. It was a timing issue. And he was like, man, I know the data works. Um, you know, it's just it was my bad for not uh, following through as quick as I could. So, yeah, yeah updating and sourcing are, are very important, I think, to to just to see, you know, who you're dealing with. And then uh, the third, you know, item for me is experience. So, you know, you have someone like Jared who started selling data when he was 10 that has been doing this, you know, for 22 years. Um, it's, it's, it's all about experience. And I think through the, the experiences of my career in data really allows us, you know, uh, an advantage to, to understanding how data is built, how data performs. Um, and, you know, that's, that's just one. And then do your homework, I think, is, uh, is so important, too. I mean, there's so many different list companies and data uh, resources and skip tracing and, you know, Fiverr and all these other outlets for you get what you pay for kind of thing. So do your homework, you know, look at reviews, you know, in today's day, day, you know, day and age with the internet and reviews, you know, make sure you're, you're dealing with someone uh, reliable, ask for references, um, you know, and, uh, and once you do find a legitimate uh, high value source, you know, then the, the sky's the limit for that success. And we always say this, I'm going to say it again, but we, you, me, um, you know, anything that, that attributes to success for these real estate professionals, we're the treasure map to the gold. And so at the end of the day, we can provide them with so many tools and so much value, but they have to go on the hunt. Um, but, you know, do your homework before you head out on that treasure hunt of, of who can be a, a resource if it's Andy and his coaching or his uh, high performance closing or anything that, uh, that provides value to you to get to that ROI. Uh, very similar to a data source. And I think that's why we we wanted to touch base on why, why not all lists are created equal. Yeah, I think it's, so just to speak to, to the share group and what you guys do, one of the, I've tried every data source out there, you know, so I've been in real estate mortgages 2008, you know, yes, working through the recession and, right. you know, and then licensed as an agent in 2013, coaching for the past six years, uh, I've seen every data source. I'm always looking for other things to see like what else is out there. Right. And man, I keep coming back to you guys. It's, it's the same thing. And it's everything that we're talking about today and more, there's even more on top of what you're even alluding to. I think you're, yeah. you are being somewhat humble inside of, <laughs> inside of what you're saying, man, but totally. the level of conversation that I personally am able to have with you, but even before you and I were connected, the level of conversation yeah. I would have with Sean. Yeah. Or with John or with yeah. anyone else on the team, their their insight and their knowledge as to what's available and how to get the most out of a particular list or a partic particular source or whatever else. Like that for me as a real estate agent was invaluable. And why honestly, I, I personally I won't recommend anybody else except for you guys. That's awesome, man. And you know what? That 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 motivates me and us to to continue to be better, right? To find new sources to to stay ahead of the curve, to to constantly be a steward for our customers, you know. And, and at the end of the day, if uh, if our customers don't have success, uh, and and you know we don't have success, and it's it's plain and simple. So I really appreciate that, man. And uh, you know, you being a part of EXP and the 
the momentum that you guys have and the, the coaching you provide is, is second to none. So we're excited to, to keep this, uh, this bus rolling and, uh, you know, and see what the, the future holds. But, uh, you know, at the okay. end of the day, we're here to, to help people, man. And that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, dude. Good stuff today. <laughs> I just cramped up. <laughs>